Hey everyone, it's me, Nicole. I would like to talk about something today that a lot of photographers don't really talk about, and that is how to tackle tricky lighting on a wedding day. You know, the real life scenario, when you show up to shoot a wedding and it's less than an ideal situation. I follow a lot of amazing wedding photographers on YouTube and they often will show picture perfect images that were shot in like a picture perfect situation. But let's be real. I find the, the weddings that I shoot can be quite a different reality. Things aren't always picture perfect when I arrive. When I arrive to the getting ready location on a wedding day, I find that things are really hectic and the room is usually quite busy. The room is usually filled with hair and makeup products because the hair and makeup artists are usually there when I start. So there's usually makeup, hair tools all over the place. There's also empty bags, clothing strewn about, empty food containers, you name it. Usually it's quite a mess. So it's not always the serene and calm, bright location that I'm hoping for. But seriously, that's what I expect because my wedding photography clients aren't wedding photographers. And also they're getting ready, to, ready for one of the most exciting and stressful days of their life. So I don't expect that everything's going to be picture perfect when I arrive. Recently, I found myself in one of these situations when I showed up on a wedding day and it was at the house of the bride or the parents house and it was a lovely house it was really nice but there were a few things that made it a little bit challenging from a photography perspective so there was another room upstairs it was a bedroom it had light color walls and minimal furniture and there was also a nice big window in that room but the room also did have its quirks there was a lot of clutter on the dresser table and there was harsh light streaming in from the one window in that room. If there had been sheer curtains, that would have been great. I would have just pulled over the sheer curtains and that would have softened the light. But they didn't have shears in that room. There was only one blind, which was a blackout blind, which makes sense because the room was for sleeping in, but I didn't want to block out all the light. I just wanted to soften the light. So I ended up pulling down the blackout blind almost the whole way down the length of the window because the harsh light that was coming in the room was just too much. So I left the blackout blind open a little bit just to let in a little bit of light into the room so we could actually see what we were doing. And I hung the dress on the back of a door on a hanger across the room from that window. I was running out of time. I only had like a couple of more minutes to focus on this dress shot before I needed to move on to the next thing. And so the dress was hanging there and I took a picture of it and the picture did not look good <laughs> because the lighting was split lighting. So the top of the dress, as you can see, it's shaded because the blackout blind was drawn. And then the bottom of the dress is overexposed because that direct sunlight is creeping in underneath the blackout blind and illuminating that portion. So when I, even when I looked at the dress, I could tell this was not ideal. And I don't really want to edit that to look better. It's just not a great picture to start with. I knew I could do better. So the initial shot was taken with f-stop f.28 shutter speed one over 160, and the ISO was 1600. To top it off, you can see there is a light on in the background that it's a different color temperature from the light that's hitting the dress, and it's distracting and just does not look nice. I thought, okay, I need, I need to make some adjustments. I have to do this fast because the dress shot is just one shot on the wedding day. I have to, you know, do this quickly and then move on to the next thing. Here's a little trick that I use that can come in really helpful if you're like in a pinch and in a not great lighting environment. So what I did is I used my flash to override the bad available light in the room. What I did was I adjusted my camera settings to limit the amount of available light entering my camera. And I did this by reducing the ISO to ISO 800. So essentially, I was underexposing the dress. Then I popped my flash on top of my camera and I angled the flash head back behind me and to the side. 
and I bounced my flash off the white wall behind me, behind into the side of me, and that flash essentially lit the dress kind of from the side at an angle. So I limited the amount of light coming into my camera, underexposed the dress, then I added my flash, bounced the flash behind and to the side to create even flattering soft light on the dress. You can see there's still a problem with the light in the background, the overhead light that's on. I had asked someone to turn off that light, which was a really good idea because it was distracting. So the settings for this image were essentially the same as the previous image, except the ISO was 800 instead of 1600. You can see that the photo here with the ISO of 800 and where I bounced my flash to light the dress is a better photo. At least the dress is evenly lit here. It's not going to blow your mind, this photo. It's not like amazing, but at least it's a good base from which I can edit and I can deliver a decent, nice dress photo. This is my final photo that I ended up editing. These are all raw photos, so they haven't been edited. And in my final photo, you can see that there is no light in the background. So that was just an easy fix. And the dress is evenly lit because I underexposed it in camera. And then I bounced my flash at an angle to add light to the dress to illuminate it evenly. I think this photo looks so much better than the first photo, don't you think? So here is my final edited image. I used my preset just to add some brightness and contrast to the image. And this photo was easy to edit because I got it right in camera. I didn't have to do any tricky like local adjustments to make it look good. If I had stopped shooting after that first image where the bottom of the dress was blown out, I don't think I could have fixed that image and I just would not have been able to deliver a dress photo. Using this little trick helped me deliver a decent dress photo to the couple. So this little technique is a game changer when you're in a less than ideal lighting situation, whether it's the direction or the quality of light that you're less than thrilled about. Adjusting your settings and then using your flash can help save the day in a situation like this. And that, my friends, is one of the most exciting aspects about wedding photography, at least in my opinion. Sometimes you have to work magic in the most unexpected circumstances in order to get the perfect shot. It's really a blend of art, skill, and quick thinking that make wedding photography such an exciting field to be in. If you like this video, please let me know. If you have any ideas for future videos, also let me know. And please like and subscribe for more content like this. So I will see you next time. Bye.